Hi everybody. Today we're going to do a really simple activity that's lots of fun. All we need is a piece of paper, a cokey or a pencil, and a pair of scissors. We're going to make paper dolls. So the first thing you need to do is to take your paper and to fold it. You can make it just less than a third. So you fold it and then turn the paper so it folds on the other side. And then this last little bit that's left over, you can get rid of it just by cutting. So it folds like this. The next thing you're going to do is draw your little man onto the paper. Now the key is to make sure that the arms go to either side because that's how they're going to hold hands. If you make short arms, then you're going to have a single paper doll. So draw your little man. It doesn't matter if your feet touch the bottom or not. It depends how long you want your person to be. You draw it, and as I say, play around with the shapes. I've decided to give him ears, and then you're going to cut it out. When you get good at doing this, you can change your design and make it little girl dolls, little boy dolls, baby dolls. I'll show you examples just now. At first I had ones with no ears and then I decided to add a pair of ears. But as I say, it's the arms that are the key to this. They must reach to the sides. Then you undo your paper dolls and you see they're all holding hands. The next thing you're going to do is add on all the details. This was my first try that I did and I made little boys, but I didn't do ears. So that's why they look a little bit strange. Then I decided to do girl ones in dresses and they've got longer hair and use cokies, color them in. You can stick on hair with wool, whatever you want to do. You don't have to even stick with people. Here I did bats. So it's exactly the same principle, just as long as the two reach, the two wings in this case, reach to the edge of the page here and there because then they'll be holding hands. I'm quite sure you can do cars, you can do worms, whatever is in your creative side today to do. Then get mom and dad to take a picture and send it to me so I can see what you've been doing. Thanks guys, bye.